And good Sunday morning to you. I'm Richard Pyde. There are a lot of businesses these days trying to figure out what health benefit packages they will be able to afford and offer their employees in the next year. The Salt Lake Chamber has now introduced a new series of ideas that could make a difference for both employers and their employees. At Richter 7, an advertising and public relations firm, creativity is the heart of the business. The last thing partner Peggy Lander wants are employees distracted by things like health insurance. But this fall, Lander found herself staring at significant cost increases to keep those benefits up. It was not sustainable because of the, you know, anywhere from 7 to 10 percent increases that, that we perceive are going to be happening in the future. So it was a point for us in this company to look at other options. To provide medical insurance, Richter 7 decided to switch to a plan with much higher deductibles, but a health savings account benefit. The option cuts employers' costs significantly and gives employees financial flexibility. Not it's the quite. kind of this idea the, the Salt Lake so, Chamber wants uh, to give other small to medium Utah businesses through a website link called the Employer's Toolbox. The website gives options on how to deal with things like wellness, costs, and solutions. Industry insiders like Steve Nealman help develop it through a special task force. What that does is, is that it starts to empower the consumers where they can now um, not only save money for themselves, but then they're more thoughtful with the way they spend money, and that drives down costs for the employers. Nealman himself assisted Richter 7 with its decision. Using HSAs provides tax advantages, is consumer-focused, and saves money. Rich McKeon points out there are many options on this site in an ever-changing health care environment. This is not a panacea. This is an incremental step to provide information to employers as they contemplate new insurance coverage options. They are options that Peggy Lander says take into account the health of employees and the company. As we mentioned, the toolbox is available online and we've provided a link to it on KSL.com. Here this morning to talk to us are Rich McKeon and Steve Nealman, who is the, also the CEO and founder of Health Equity. Rich, let me uh, ask you, and earlier this week when I was speaking to you about this, you mentioned that there are a lot of employers in Utah who are literally tearing their hair out, as you put it, trying to figure out what to do. How does this toolbox help? The uh, motivation behind the toolbox was the exact thing you've described, and that is people who, who were tearing their hair out and trying to figure out solutions to this escalating cost for health care. The toolbox is an effort to, in one place, put a number of ideas that deal with uh, health uh, and wellness, with consumer options, and with uh, purchasing options that would stimulate a, an employer or CEO to think about new and different ways to engage their health insurance plans. Dr. Newman, you are a physician and a business owner. Did you come up with some of these ideas uh, to, and ways to tailor them to individual businesses to see which ones would work for which business? Yeah, we worked closely with the Chamber of Commerce to talk about these solutions because the real question is, is how do you do it? We're in this world, new world of Obamacare and high costs and everything like that. And so a lot of employers are asking the questions. And so we work with a few thousand employers in Utah on these same solutions. And so our goal was just to incorporate what's already been done today into the toolbox. Now you mentioned uh, and you recommended to Richter 7 the health savings account option. What other kinds of options are available to businesses, mid to medium level businesses in, in Utah that could utilize the toolbox? Well, in, in Utah we have a health exchange. It's, it's, uh, it's a new way to go out and buy uh, these types of solutions. And you can either choose health savings account options or other lower cost alternatives. And so we're blessed in Utah to have that. Rich, you mentioned uh, earlier that a lot of businesses are affected by this. Would you say all businesses that provide benefits to their employees would be interested in this? I can't imagine that there wouldn't be discussions going on at the boardroom level and above about this escalating cost of health care. Uh, these options are uh, tailored to meet small, medium, and larger business uh, owners and CEOs who are trying to deal with this problem. So I think most will find it stimulating and engaging. We should point out, though, this is, it really is not an end result. This is the beginning and a starting point of a community-wide discussion that deals with uh, interactive and a dynamic website that will engage the public, we hope, in a way that will allow it to grow and expand and come up with new and even uh, improved ideas. Now, Steve, when you were working with Richter 7, was it a challenge to get 
the, the people there to kind of think outside the box, to kind of take a look at these different options? Or would you say they were so driven by the, the cost comparisons that they were open to it? Well, Richter 7 is a very innovative company. So a, they think out, the out of the box as a business. But I think generally people always get nervous when you think they're going to mess with we, they're going to mess with their health benefits. But the health savings account is unique because you're actually giving your employees money that they can take with them to their next job. They have flexibility, and so I think it really fit nicely in with their culture. And there are tax advantages to HSAs too. Unbelievable tax advantages. The HSA is the only one that actually has triple tax advantage. It goes in tax free, it grows tax free, and you spend it tax free on health care. Now, Rich, I know that uh, you're familiar with the way businesses work, I and mean, there are a lot of business people who are busy doing their business. They don't want to take the time to look into this. Would you say that the toolbox obviously assists, but would it be an investment of time for these people once they get in there and start taking a look around and seeing what might work for them and might not? I would hope so. I think they would find that there are options that maybe they haven't considered. You know, uh, Steve Nealman is a pioneer in the health savings account industry. I mean, he. He was in this in the mid-90s. He has engaged the public nationally and locally, and uh, I just, you know, he has created options for people that, that uh, have made a real impact in the, in the industry nationwide. And so I really commend him for that, and his willingness to sit with us on this chamber task force is an indication of the importance we attach to having our local businesses begin to try and curb these escalating costs and to, to, to provide enough information to them so that they can make good decisions along those lines. Now, I know that this is much different, and this is a separate issue from the Obamacare specter that's an unknown for a lot of businesses. Any idea how this might interface with, with the coming changes on the federal level? You know, thankfully, the regulations are starting to come out in pretty good detail. And what's remarkable are these types of solutions, the health savings accounts, other solutions, the exchanges, fit actually pretty nicely into Obamacare. There was some bipartisan effort. Now, there was some ideas that were put into Obamacare that allow for these. I'll just mention one thing. The Salt Lake Chamber is actually my example because their employees are now going to health savings accounts as well. So this isn't just something they're preaching. They're actually living it. And Rich, you mentioned that this is a changing dynamic. Just, just really quick, do you anticipate that the elements of the toolbox might very well change, maybe even mid-year? Oh, listen, I think we're in a dynamic environment. Medical industry is going to change. Uh, Obamacare was a shockwave to the system, but the economy that we're living in will not permit us to fund Medicare, Medicaid, and health care in the same ways that we have. Payment systems are going to change. There's dramatic change ahead for the health care industry, and we're going to have to monitor that and adjust to it as we go. Okay, and if the employers and the employees who are receiving the benefits are more informed about it, the change might not be quite as shocking, I imagine. And that is exactly what this toolbox tries to do, is to create in one place uh, some enough information to get you started. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm afraid we're out of time. Rich McKeon, thank you for joining me. And Steve Nealman.